welcome to another video. It is me, Desiree. I am so happy to be back. I'm so excited to be back here with another video. Uh, November and December were some tough months, man. But I'm glad they're over. I'm back. I'm back to doing regular videos, back to a regular work schedule with regular days off and everything. Um, but I want to talk about my December empties. These are all the products I finished up in December. And I'm just going to share with you how they were. Did they work? Did they not? Did I repurchase? You know, you know how empties go. So let's just talk about them. So first up, I finished my favorite body lotion of all time. I think I have two left of these. It's from Bath and Body Works. I cut it open, yes. It's the French Lavender and Honey Body Lotion. Why? Why would they do this to me? They discontinued this scent. Every now and then I check their website and I feel like they bring it back sometimes, but for the most part they keep this as one of their retired fragrances. I don't even know Bath and Body Works that well. I don't know anything else from the company except this one thing. Um, I get the lotions for Christmas and gifts every now and then, but this is the one that has stolen my heart. Cut it open. Uh, I think I've said this a million times, but I bought 10 of them when they got discontinued because they were only $5 each. And I love it. It's the best scent in the world. No longer exists. Used up another one. Um, I used up a primer from e.l.f. This is the Liquid Poreless Putty Primer. Um, I didn't realize this was so close to getting used up, so I didn't mention it in my uh, makeup empties of 2023. I think I'll save this, though, to mention in the 2024 empties, just so I can mention it again uh, as, a, as an empty. But this primer is on another level of amazing. I can't believe how much I like it. It's definitely the best e.l.f. product I've ever tried. Um, it doesn't do anything for your pores at all. Like, I don't notice them camouflage whatsoever. It's just such a good, like, barrier between your skincare and your makeup. And then in between is this primer. So your makeup's going on top of the primer, not on top of your skincare. Do you know what I mean? Because uh, I was noticing my makeup looking like trash all the time. And it's because I was putting more sunscreen on than normal and stuff. And I found that when I started using this, everything changed. Like I use this every single day now. I love it so much. I did buy another one. I never want to be without it. Definitely the best thing e.l.f. has ever done in my opinion. Oh my god, I used up, this has to have another spray in it. I'm gonna see if anything else comes out. I felt like Michael Scott. Oh, there's a couple sprays coming out. Or is it just air? Either way, it's good smelling air. There, I'm gonna get some out of here. Okay, this is the Chloe Perfumed Deodorant. My favorite fragrance of all time, actually I have a few favorite fragrances of all time, but one that is like at the tippy top is this. It's Chloe, it's their Eau de Parfum. It's so freaking good. The only thing is I wish it had a little more lasting power, but I don't even mind because I will apply it all day long. This is their perfumed deodorant. I bought this a long time ago, actually a few years at this point. Um, I bought it to use as deodorant because that's what they call it, but I used it maybe two or three times as an actual deodorant. And then I realized quickly that it's just body spray. It doesn't have like, it's not an aerosol can. It doesn't have like a spray powder or anything. It's literally just spray for your body. So I started using this as a body spray. I cannot believe how long this lasted. This lasted years. I do want to repurchase it. I hope they still make it. Um, I sprayed this all the freaking time and I doused myself in it. So I can't even believe that this lasted as long as it did. Uh, but the reason I say I feel like Michael Scott is because, do you remember that episode of The Office where Ryan is Ryan's helping Michael clean out his car and he has a bottle of like a Dracar Noir, but I think it's an imitation one or something. And it's empty, but he opens it. He goes, no, there's still some in the straw. And he like gets the straw and wipes it all over his neck. That's how I felt with this, where I was like, there's still some good spring air in here. And I kept wanting, hold on. I think I got some out. No, it's gone. No, is it? You know what? I'm going to use this the rest of the day and see if there's still some in there because I don't want to waste it. It's just that good. It's the best scent ever. It's floral and f feminine and light and airy and crisp and delicious and fresh. This is perfection. This is the most perfect fragrance. It's, it's just the best. I love it and I do want to buy that again if they still make it. This is the Soap and Glory Magnifico Body Scrub. I got this in a little duo um, during Christmas time. I didn't get it for Christmas. Bought it for myself. I really like the scent of the Magnifico line from Soap and Glory. 
It smells really, really good, but this body scrub wasn't my favorite. It was a little sample, so I'm glad it was just a little bit. Uh, it was just a little too soft for me. I like a scrub that almost hurts. <laughs> this was a little too gentle, although it smelled good. Wouldn't go out of my way to buy a full size. Ooh, this on the other hand, this is from Tree Hut. This is the Moroccan Rose uh, Shea Sugar Scrub. I don't remember the scent on this. Oh, the scent was okay, okay. Scent was just fine for me. Um, I love the lime one. That is my favorite, favorite one. I just bought it recently. It was on clearance. Uh, love that one a lot. And I'm glad to be able to use these again. I had been off of them for a long time because in my previous shower, we had a window in the shower that I kept open all the time. And the ants loved this body scrub because it's sugar and it was always covered in ants. So uh, I stopped using it after that and I hadn't used it in a long time. But this year, got back into them love them so much they're really good and they're super scrubby they got big chunks of scrub in there you could feel it scrubbing all the skin off of your body lovely lovely stuff Ooh, okay Ooh, for everything this is the soap and glory glow your mind cleansing balm i think this is my favorite cleansing balm at this point i like the elf one too but this i think is it's just the best one and i haven't repurchased it because I have a couple of other things for makeup removal that I really want to use up. And I know that if I have a cleansing balm or cleansing oil in, in rotation or whatever, I'm not going to want to use the other things. You'll probably see them in next month's empties. But I love this a lot. It removes everything off of your face. You could use it on your eyes. It'll get your mascara off. Won't irritate your eyes. Doesn't have a fragrance. It's not oily. Rinse is really clean. Like you almost don't even feel like you need to double cleanse because it feels really good when you rinse it off. It's great. I love it a lot. I buy it all the time and I will repurchase it 100%. The only thing is once you get the lid off, there, it's never going to go back on. Never. I'll end up just storing it like this. I'll kind of store it like this. The, it will not screw back on to save its life. I have to end up like smashing it like this. It's just, I don't know what it is, but it's good. Slight packaging flaw, but nothing to um, go crazy about. I just used this up this morning. It's the Trader Joe's uh, Candy Cane Body Butter. I think this is from last year. It's just a little sample that I got in their advent calendar. Mm, I love it because it smells a little more like sweet mint and not like uh, peppermint. Really good. like the body butters from Trader Joe's a lot. And this year I want to buy the coconut one again. Haven't used that one in a long time. And I've just been like, like, um, what's the word? I was going to use fiending, but that's not correct. I've just been like craving it. That's something. I want to use it again. Oh yeah, I forgot I used up this. This is the Soap and Glory Magnificoco Body Wash. I loved this so much. I'm glad I had bought two. They were on sale. Oh, it just smells so good. It smells like coconut, but not in that typical coconut scent, like tropical or sunscreen. It doesn't smell like that. You could tell that's kind of what they're going for, but it's a lot more fruity. It's really, really good. I like Soap and Glory's scents. I like smelling their scents, but I don't always like using them because sometimes they are very strong. Uh, but I love this and I really like the formula of this because all of it came out. I didn't have to put water and shake it up. It's thick, but it doesn't stick to the bottle. It's really, really good. Felt really good on the skin. My skin felt good. It smelled good. Really, really like this. I'm glad I have another bottle on that up. This is something I always meant to review and I kept putting it off because I don't know why, I just kept forgetting. It's the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Cleansing Gel. This is the fragrance free one. I got this big old giant bottle. This was a gift with purchase at Walgreens. I think it was like spend 25 or $30 on stuff and you got this big old body wash or uh, face wash. And I had used this previously in like a travel size but it wasn't the fragrance free one. And I hated the scent. It just smelled like dirt to me. I just didn't like it whatsoever. And the fragrance free one truly was fragrance free. It didn't have that weird unscented scent. You know what I mean? Yeah, it just smelled like nothing. Um, this lasted a very long time. It's a gigantic bottle, uh, but I really liked this a lot. I used it as a second cleanser. I used it in the morning as just a regular cleanser. Uh, you could use it on your eye area, removes all your makeup. Your skin feels really good when you rinse this off. Um, at first, it was kind of weird to get used to the texture of this because when you rinse it off, it leaves something behind on your skin. And if you're used to using a cleanser that strips everything off and that leaves you literally squeaky clean, 
using something like this is gonna feel kind of weird and you're gonna feel like you have to keep rinsing your face to get off that stuff that they left behind. But trust me, just leave it on your skin. It's not gonna be weird. It's not gonna feel heavy or anything like that. Rinse off your skin and when you feel, it doesn't feel like a residue. It doesn't feel like sticky or like you wanna rinse it off, but it just doesn't feel squeaky clean. Your skin's gonna feel soft, almost like you put on a moisturizer really quickly after washing your face. Does that make sense? I really liked this. I loved how it left my skin feeling so clean but not stripped just gentle and good but worked really really well um i did find uh when i used this twice so in order to prepare for doing the review i was using this as my only cleanser like just to remove makeup on its own no cleansing mom or anything i would use this pump out a few pumps wash my face do it again to do a nice second cleanse i found if i used this twice my skin felt really stripped it felt like kind of, ugh, I gotta put skincare on right away. So I didn't love that aspect of it, but I loved it as a second cleanser and I loved it in the morning. But if I used it twice, no bueno. But this was really, really, really good. I don't know if I'd go out of my way to buy this big old bottle again, but if it was ever a gift of purchase or came in a subscription box, I'd welcome it happily and I would use it. <clears throat> oh, this is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I love this setting spray. I currently have the other one that they make, the coconut one. I love it a lot, a lot, a lot. It's in an aerosol or like an aerosol can, or it's more of just a continuous mist kind of spray. I think we still call all this kind of stuff aerosol though. It's really fine, but you could still feel it hitting your face. Like you don't have to hold it this close or anything. It's so good. Makeup lasts a really long time. One thing I always want to experiment with this is like using it as like a primer water and then putting makeup on and then doing it again and then a setting spray. I kind of want to like sandwich this in between the layers and see what I can get this to do. But I love it. It has a nice fresh scent that doesn't linger, doesn't bother, doesn't give me a headache. Really, really good. Buy it all the time. Love to always have it on hand because it's just, it's just good, you know? Oh, I used up this Trader Joe's Eucalyptus Shower Steamer. I got this in the advent calendar last year as well and I was very, very sick in December. I got really sick. I still have a lot of like stuff going on in my sinuses and stuff. It's kind of weird um, and it's bothering me because it's messing with my sense of smell, which is okay because I can wear perfumes now that normally give me a headache, but I feel weird because I can't smell like I used to and my ears feel funny. I just, my sinuses are all messed up, you know? Anyway, I used this one of the days because I thought it would work really well and it smelled like literally nothing. When I opened it out of the wrapper, I could smell the eucalyptus, but having it like in the shower, it smelled like nothing. Like I even got it and held it this close to my nose. Couldn't smell anything. So no thank you. Um, I used up this little beautiful container of cactus water cleansing lactic acid toner from Freck. Look at this beautiful glass. Like this was a sample and they still went out of their way to make the, the sample look really good. Like it's a glass bottle. Really pretty. I was really excited to use this because um, the past couple months I got really into cleansing toners and I wanted to use them every day and I was really excited for this because it just sounded really good. I love cactus water um, and it was a lactic, a lactic acid toner but for some reason this just didn't do anything for me. Like I wasn't excited about it. I was excited about it but after I started using it I was like it wasn't keeping me coming back the way that the one from Benton was and some other ones that I had tried out I don't know, like it didn't make me want to buy the full size and I'm glad I got to try a sample before buying that one. Um, although it was nice to try, I would not buy. Oh, oh, the saddest empty of the year is the Trader Joe's pumpkin body butter. You want to know why? Because I didn't find this this year to purchase it. I went to Trader Joe's. I couldn't find this at all. I never even saw it on display. I didn't see other people saying they found it. This is one of the best scents in the world. I use this year round because it doesn't smell like pumpkin. Ugh. I almost just want to keep this, to be honest, just so I can open it and smell it throughout the year. There is a little bit like, like residual on here that I couldn't really wipe off. So I, I feel like if I kept it, the scent would stay in there. Is that crazy? Why? Why didn't I find this? I wanted one so bad because I like to have this year round. The scent is like sweet. It's it's pumpkin as an undertone, but not pumpkin. Like it doesn't smell like a seasonal scent to me. It's a little spicy. It's perfection. The actual lotion that's in here is really 
freaking thick. Like if you go to spread it, it's going to pull on your skin. It's very thick, but oh, I, I love it. Like I literally want to try to find this online if someone's selling it on Poshmark or something because I want it. I don't want to be without it. Oh, I have to smell again. So sad. I didn't find it this year and I was like desperate to find it because I knew I was running out. I couldn't find it. Oh, I used up another Soap and Glory cleansing balm. I must have used this up at the very beginning of the month or right after I did the empties video for uh, November because I don't remember buying and using up two this month. But uh, see again with the lid, like it doesn't close all the way. So like, I don't know. It's just weird with the packaging, but I love it so much. I love it a lot. Oh, this is just the packaging for that Freck uh, thing. Okay, I used up the COSRX Advanced Snail Mucin Power Essence. I loved this. I want to buy this in a full size. Um, this made my skin feel plump and juicy and just youthful. And I loved everything about this. Every time I used this, I was like, yes. The magic in a bottle, it just made my skin feel and look so plump and good. Gotta buy that in a full size. Okay, I used up this. This is from Rock, and I actually finished this up in November, but I forgot to talk about it in my empties video because I had left it out because I was gonna do a, rev a review on it, so I wanna talk about it now. I started and finished this in November. It's the Rock Multi Correction Revive and Glow Eye Balm. I mentioned this in the, um, the video I did on skincare I'm really excited to try. Uh, I have another one that I'm using currently. I would never buy this again in a million years. It's $30 or a little more than $30 and I started and finished it in one month. So that's like a dollar a day to use this and it did nothing for me. It does claim to be cooling, which it is not. I never felt it to be cooling whatsoever. I also didn't really notice it do anything for my under eyes and I used up the whole entire thing. I'm currently using another one. And then one thing that really annoyed me about this a lot is that, okay, the same thing happened with the Tatcha serum stick that I loved a lot. I do want to repurchase that. That one also is a better value for money. This one is way too expensive for how little you get. Anyway, um, when you twist it all the way up and you finished it and it's flat on here and you're feeling the metal start to touch your face, there's like this much more balm inside the stick. Why? Why did they fill the metal part of the stick with the balm? Why would they do that? Because you can't get it out. I was digging it out with my nail when it had nails on. I was digging it out with a Q-tip. And then before you know it, I was all the way down here on the plastic part trying to get it out. It was so annoying. Like they could have just made the stick a little wider and made the stick a little like shorter so you could get all of it out. I was so mad when I saw how much was left in there because a lot of people aren't gonna go out of the way to dig all of that out. They're just gonna go like, oh, it's done, and then throw it away. The Tatcha one did have the same issue, but it was only like this much on the top of the stick, not the whole freaking metal part. This did nothing for me. I would never buy this again in a million years. I only bought these because I found them on clearance. I think they were 90% off, so I bought two. No, I can't in good conscience recommend this to literally anybody. It's too expensive for how little it does. Uh, this is from number seven, the Early Defense Glow Activating Serum. I'm a huge number seven fan. I love using their products a lot. And uh, I hadn't used this one in a long, long time, so I bought it again, and I love it. It's a good serum. It's a good, basic, glowy serum. Made my skin look and feel really good. I enjoyed using it a lot. And this is one that I did miss when it was gone and I wanted to repurchase it. It's good. It's a good one. Enjoyed it quite a bit. Okay, two things left. An eye cream from Aquel that I loved. This is the um, pH balancing licorice root one, you know, the one I can't really read the packaging, it's all messed up. But I really, really liked this eye cream. Um, I think I used up another one like this earlier this year, a couple months ago. Really nice, felt good on my under eyes, didn't irritate my eyes whatsoever. They looked good, they felt good, moisturized, did it all, loved it a lot. And then I used up one more pencil from Rimmel, another one that I forgot to mention in my makeup empties. But I think I'm gonna keep these couple of makeup empties and show them in the 2024 video. But this is the Rimmel Kind and Free Brow Pencil in the shade Espresso. I love it, I'm wearing it again today. I bought another one. It's a good pencil. It's a great, just basic, 
skinny brow pencil, but I love the color and I love the formula. It's not too dry, not too creamy. The right amount of color comes off when you put it on. It's great and I want to continue using it until I find something better. But that is it. Those are all of my empties, everything I finished up in December. Let me know some things you used up this month. I would love to know. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe so you don't miss my next one. And I will see you tomorrow for my roundup of 2023 makeup favorites. I will see you then. Goodbye.